ITV recently confirmed that a talent show, presented by BBC Radio 2's Zoe Ball, would come to an end after just one season on air. Zoe Ball will not return to present ITV's Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream. The BBC Radio 2 host said it was a shame that the broadcaster was axing the reality TV show. The ABBA-inspired competition was launched last year with hopes of discovering actors to portray protagonists Sky and Sophie in the West End production of Mamma Mia! Stevie Doc and Toby and Turley were eventually cast in the musical after winning the competition. Zoe, 53, hosted the program while Alan Carr, 47, Jesse Ware, 39, Amber Riley, 38, and Samantha Barks, 33, served as judges. Following its conclusion, ITV has revealed Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream won't be returning for a second stint. On Friday, April 12th, Zoe hinted that she wouldn't be making a trip to Greece this summer to film. She said so whilst Alan sat in with her on the Zoe Ball breakfast show. Ah do you know what? We're not going back to Corfu. Where the show was filmed, it's a shame, she said. This time last year. Packing our bags to go. The chatty man star added to his former co-host. I loved doing that show. Following Zoe's tease, ITV has confirmed that Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream was only intended as a limited series. A spokesperson told The Mirror. Mamma Mia! I Have a Dream was commissioned to celebrate 25 years of the musical, so was only ever intended to be a one-off series. The show sought to find a new Sophie and Sky, who are now starring in the West End musical. However, the broadcaster could replace the beloved series with another competition to find musical talent in the future. ITV could follow in the footsteps of previous shows aired by BBC in the past, including 2008's I'd Do Anything, 2010's Over the Rainbow, and 2012's Superstar. Zoe's career blow comes just months after she announced her mum Julia was receiving treatment for advanced cancer. In an emotional post last month, the mum of two revealed her parent had been incredibly brave during her recent diagnosis. My brother Jamie and I are completely in awe of the brilliant doctors, nurses and support teams looking after mum, she explained. Thank you. Gratitude to our families and our extended family and friends at home and at work for their support at this time. 